Welcome to a new episode of TTG Conversations 5 Questions video series. I'm Karen Liu, Group Editor of TTG Asia Media. In this episode, we will look at the impact of climate change on touring routes and travel experiences. And taking us through this topic is Nick Lim, CEO for Asia with the Travel Corporation. Welcome to the show, Nick. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for having me. Great to be on this yeah, of course, and, and and it's nice to uh to chat because we we both know each other for a long time, so it's nice to talk serious stuff now, huh? Okay, well we'll try. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've got five questions for you, Nick, and this is the first. We are facing a climate crisis that has proven its existence with some rather extreme weather events last year. So we saw, you know, deadly heat waves in summer across uh, Europe and China, and then and also record breaking rainfall and flooding in parts of Asia. Should the travel and tourism community be worried, and why? Well, I think that's always a cause for concern uh, for us, especially for tourism and I think not just touring, you know, because we need uh, we need a very happy world uh, to be able to do what we do, right? Can you imagine in places where we don't have trees and then there's, uh, there's flooding and the hotels are flooded and things like that. So as as a community, yes, I think we should be concerned uh, and I think we could definitely do more uh, as, uh, as a tourism industry. So I think here it's something that uh, as part of what we do at Travel Corporation, I think we have already started the ball rolling uh, to get uh, more people involved. We have gotten our, um, our operations involved and in how we trade right. We have a foundation called Track Right Foundation. That's also uh, something that we started more than a decade ago. Uh, we've also now gotten our consumers uh, to be more uh, aware of how, uh, on the impact that they're making, we're doing at a grassroots level here in the office as well. So it's in as many aspects as 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 we as as we could. I mean, we're going out for at all touch points. Uh, so. Yeah, so coming back to your question, I think, yes, I think there's, there's uh, cause for concern. But as long as we do our part and we encourage our partners and our, uh, and our customers to, to do likewise, I think we, could, uh, we should have a much better world uh, in, in the days ahead. Mm -hmm. At least to slow down the impact, huh? Oh, absolutely. And, and even uh, reverse that, you know, so things like what we do, uh, going to net zero, uh, that we have a goal, uh, carbon offsetting, that's something that we are currently doing as well. So these are the uh, these are the steps that we are taking as, as a company. And I'm quite sure many of my colleagues in the industry are, are also doing the same at all levels, at, at, at the hospitality level, at the touring level, uh, and even at the cruise level as well. I think these are the things that's being undertaken uh, as we speak. Okay. The Travel Corporation designs and conducts numerous tours and uh, experience programs across the world. Have extreme weather conditions and unexpected uh, weather changes disrupted your regular programming? Uh, I think in certain places, um, not only last year, uh, Karen, I think in many, in, in, in certain occurrences, uh, even as you, I mean, you can go back as, as far as uh, like uh, Hurricane Katrina, um, I, I would not uh, attribute, uh, say, or put my finger and say, oh, that's uh, Hurricane Katrina in the States, for example. It's because of climate change. I mean, it could be, uh, it, it could be uh, uh, things that just happen, especially with weather. I mean, no one can really predict the weather. But I think what, what I'm trying to say here is because once you're able, once you have good people on the ground, you have good operations on the ground, you're able to anticipate, you're able to help your customers, you're able to help travelers uh, mitigate such risks. So in, in, in cases like that, when, 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 when we see there's flooding, uh, when we see there's an earthquake, for example, uh, last year, uh, we, we had to uh, make certain uh, slight deviations. But I think this is where, if you've got good expertise on the ground, you're able to do so. So I think this is the kind of uh, operations and confidence that we're able to bring to, to, our, to our customers and also to our trade partners, uh, where, you know, TTC, we are a 104-year-old company. 
Uh, I think I think 104 years old should I think we should have enough expertise on the ground. <laughs> so we, we to anticipate such things and 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 uh, to 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 help um, to help our customers uh, enjoy their holiday uh, and just to keep uh, disruptions uh, at the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Well, those of course are more you know short term or maybe single occurrence impacts. But maybe let's look at the, those are uh, more long term impacts. Are there destinations that have perhaps you know fallen in popularity because climate change has rendered them no longer accessible or no longer attractive? Have you seen such uh, situations before? Uh no. At this stage, no. Unless there's severe flooding and at or like you said, I mean, these are all one-off occurrences, like earthquakes, touch. I mean, and and you know, and um, but I think in terms of what we see uh, of a gradual build-up because of climate change, no, we haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely, we could see the effects of that. Uh, but nothing at this stage to that is so drastic that we had to totally. Uh, can uh, can uh, one itinerary or two, uh, so that's those things that we uh, things that we haven't seen really. Mm -hmm. Okay, your company has a sustainable tourism strategy named How We Tread, right? And you mentioned that earlier. Um, does climate change have an impact on your ongoing projects under Tread, right? Uh, you know, it could be in terms of making certain initiatives more crucial suddenly, or posing challenges to your ability to facilitate them. I think climate change has made things a lot more obvious on where we need to go. Uh, and things like uh, going carbon neutral uh, and, and things like being uh, a, a lot more wary about the world we live in. Uh, I think it's not just not only for the tourism industry, but I think across most industries as well. So I think that that part, I think it's, you know, I think you, you, you can now walk on the street and you see almost every uh a billboard or sometimes you say this is this is uh this company is, is sustainable this project is sustainable so it's it's now come out to that stage where it's a lot more obvious for the men on the street and for and and i i that i think it helps with the awareness uh with us mm -hmm. uh for us sorry and i think here it's for how we tread right, like coming to your question, coming back to your question, Karen. This is where we are able to help uh, amplify the message, you know. So how we tread right, for example, it's not just going carbon neutral or setting and things like that. I suppose sustainability for us as travel corporation means beyond that. It means things like is the destination sustainable? Is the community sustainable? I mean, you look at what's happening in Venice, mm -hmm. and now you have to pay a fee, right? And why? Because there's there's over tourism, mm -hmm. the crowding is over tourism. You, you know, there's uh, the locals are not happy there. I'm just taking Venice as an example, mm -hmm. right? And you could see uh, those effects. So, looking at that, how we tread right. I think has permeated across to all our brands. So, for example, uh, what we do at at the ground level for uh, some of our brands like Inside Vacations, Trafalgar, uh, is where we bring sustainability to uh, to the grassroots, where we visit uh, a local project, and we help with a local project, and we help resurrect certain uh, skills. Uh, um, you know, we help these certain local communities. So it's, it's so it goes beyond um, uh, planting a tree, which is important, which we do almost every day <laughs> with, with uh, among all our brands. Uh, that's how we, uh, that's how as part of our project for Heaven Our Setting. But also I think here, if, if we talk about sustainability, I think it has to be a more holistic. So. I think it has to got to do with communities as well. So, uh, people, planet, and wildlife are our three pillars for trade, right? So, basing on that, we align our goals with uh, our UN uh, sustainability goals. Mm -hmm. So, so, so that alignment helps us to be right up there with uh, to uh, across across the planet and 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 how we help uh, local communities right up to. Um, to things like uh, um, 
growing trees and reforestation and things like that. So these are the things that, that uh, um, in a very roundabout way, Karen, <laughs> this is what uh, what we do to 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 help with uh, to help uh, make this world a better place uh, for the next generation of travelers and many more generations to come. Okay, um, as the world marks yet another Earth Day this month, what hopes does the Travel Corporation have for humanity's efforts to conserve and protect the environment? Well, I hope that everyone could do more, uh, not just the trade, not just TTC, but I'm quite sure everybody in the tourism industry, I mean, we could see it uh, with our friends in the hospitality sector, uh, we could see it with our friends in the cruise sector as well, everybody's trying to do their part. But I think that I think more needs to be done uh, making yeah, uh, sustainability uh, uh, a more tangible a more tangible uh, discussion uh, especially with the consumers uh, things like for example uh, when we uh, now we no longer uh, give out water bottles on our coaches uh, for example Contiki we would promote them we would say before they, they come on the trip, uh, we say bring a water bottle and we and our travel director will bring them to the various water points and they can fill up water, uh, fill up all their, their water using their own water bottles and throughout the journey they would have the same water bottle. So we don't have to give out those single-use plastic water bottles anymore along the way. So those, those things that I, I think are very tangible uh, but it's very it's 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 day to day, right? It's it's something that we use every day. But those things, I think, those simple things can make uh, can create that kind of awareness on why we're doing it. And so those small little uh, touch points uh, that we that we're doing, uh, and and hope that it will come across. So um, my wish is that more travelers and more consumers um, will be aware when they travel. Uh, of course, we still want to see the uh, iconic sights and sounds, but being there also, I think you need also need to have that self awareness of how we should behave uh, um, and how and how we go about uh, respecting cultures and people and, and, and wildlife and those 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 are the things that, that I think um, that's my wish if if mm -hmm. for us to to be a uh, uh, a better traveling world, uh, in, 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 in my words. <laughs> great, great, Nick, great. So cheers to, to greater self-awareness. Cheers to more respect for the destination we, we visit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all the questions I have for you, Nick. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Karen. Thanks again for the time. Past and future episodes of TTG Conversations, five questions can be found on the TTG YouTube channel. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next episode. Goodbye.